much. Uh, yeah, Scotland, the uh, education department's so obsessed with what they call the Scots language. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> not interested in class or anything like that. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll read up. I did some translations of the. Uh, well, I did a translation of Mother Courage uh, a couple of years ago, in which uh, Mother Courage uh, was written around a sort of Western Scotland, working class voice. Uh, you know, just a couple of Glasgow's a North European port at Hamburg. And I was reading about it, it was supposed to be in a non standard Hamburg German, so I thought, well, I'm in. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, this is uh, the, the Song of the Great Capitulation. Um, uh, Once in years gone by, in my springtime bloom, I fancied that it ha I'd have it all my own sweet way in time. I wasn't just your average woman for a single end. I had my looks, I was sharp as a tack, and I had my sight seemed high. And I'd not take shit if my suit contained a hair. Right away they had to change a plate or, or else. It's absolutely all or nothing. Second best is not an option. You get what you fight for. You have to make your own rules. But a birdie tweet in my ear. In the year, you'll keep in step like all the rest, parade in time, not be a pest. You'll twiddle away your own wee tune, march up and down, right turn, your mates and all, they'll say it's God's law, and you'll not say a thing. And afore a year I had failed the test, I'd swallowed in my medicine like all the rest. Two wains round my ankles, a place of loaf sky high and all the rest of it. I was so done in, just feeling knackered all the time, them in charge. They had me with a shot and curlies. You have to get by with other folk, one on watches the other, and it's no use banging your head against a brick wall. <laughs> and a birdie tweet in my ear, Psst, in the year, you'll keep in step like all the rest, parade in time, I'll be a pest, you'll twiddle away your own wee tune, march up and down, right turn. <laughs> Your mates and all, they all say it's God's law, and you'll no say a thing. I have seen some folk the heavens above they'd storm. There's no a star they think too big or just too far away. If you've talent, you'll rise, for there's a will, there's a way. Anybody can make it to the top. But I'll tell you this, if you set off up icy mountain peaks, and you'll find a wee straw hat is no enough. <laughs> you have to make out in life with what you've got. And a birdie tweet in my ear, Psst, in the year, you'll keep in step like all the rest, parade in time, no be a pest, you'll twiddle away your own wee tune, march up and down, right turn, your mates and all, they'll say it's God's law, and you'll no say a thing. <laughs> uh, another couple of, just give a couple of such short songs, but uh, you know, when I was composing it, I had. Paul Deslow's music on iTunes and my head so that I could get the, the syllables to correspond and all that stuff. But I can't even, you know, I'll just read it. Uh, this is a wee thing from scene seven. For all the talk of war and glory, great, great victories won, don't kid yourself. War's nothing but a bit of business that deals in cheese and boots as well. Some folk will look for quiet quarters, a place to settle down they crave. They want to dig their hoods foundations, instead they dig an early grave. Some rush about like bees at jam jars, a peaceful spot they're searching out. But once I've did, I just went up what all the rush was all about. Um, one of the things that, uh, again, it was such a great working with the play, and also working with, I mean, I spent, I mean, I, I'm very thinking about the word revolution, I mean, my, 
too much anger listening you know when you get a bitch you to know that corporate news media one kind or another and they all like something that journalists validate the politicians and politicians validate the journalists so on and so forth um eventually did this thing with uh, just the news and put in you know a wee circumflex to make it their news above it and be ditch the construct and underneath it turn the fucker off because you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's just a construct you know um, obviously anyway right, I'll just uh, I'll just move on so uh, I read this thing called the, uh, the Fair Cop. Uh, a, a few years ago. Well, that's about five minutes. A cop came to see me. But I didn't know he was a cop. I'm so trusting. <laughs> and I said, sit down and have a cup of tea. And they sat down and had a cup of tea. And he was a young man, a nice looking young man. He reminded me of my son, the taller of my sons. Very discreet, <laughs> a good listener. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, would you like a banana? <laughs> I eat bananas like a gorilla. But the cop didn't want a banana. He asked me if it was all right to use a dictaphone. <laughs> and I said, of course, I don't really like dictaphones. <laughs> And he was interested in all my life. And he wanted to get a few things straight that would help him with his work. <laughs> and I'm getting old. There's bits of me beginning to pack up and go. And I like helping the young. It is one of the pleasures of old age. <laughs> what else is there for the old to do? So I told him all I could, and I was very free and honest. I like being free and honest. I like those days when it all comes together. And you know your own story, and you know your own place in the world, and what you've done, and why. And he didn't say very much. Come to think of it, he didn't say very much at all. <laughs> but he had a nice smile, and he seemed a good listener. <laughs> so I talked, and I talked, instructing the young in my path through life. And only once did his expression change somehow. Only once did his eyes sort of flicker. And that was when I was talking about terrorism. <laughs> and how they all use the word terror now instead. And I told them, I noticed when the change first took place. I said, I remember it being Ariel Sharon. How he kept saying terror, 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 terror. Fighting terror, war and terror. Fighting terror, war and terror. <laughs> all instead of terrorism. <laughs> and now the word's over here. <laughs> and how this reminded me of the way words would change during the 70s. How news bulletins would change a word even in one day reporting Ireland. How the words in something would evolve to a kind of more acceptable slant. And I told them how I used to rant on then. I laughed. How I used to rant on then in the 70s and 80s. All this stuff about changing the laws for the Irish situation. How they would bring the Diplock courts over here when they felt they could. How they would find another emergency over here when it suited them. I was really relaxed talking to the young man. I know the story of this place. <coughs> I grew up in it. I have eyes and ears. I tried to find out different views. It's part of being free and honest. That's what I was so keen to tell him. It's not part of being a member of anything. It's just part of being alive. But there was something about that mention of terror. Something about the way he reacted to me talking about it. 
looking back, it was almost as if he was suddenly on the job. <laughs> and his face changed just that wee bit. His eyes caught mine just for a second. It was only a couple of days later when I was up for the toilet in the middle of the night. <laughs> I was up for my usual four o'clock pee and I decided to have a cup of tea and a banana. <laughs> <laughs> and it suddenly dawned on me, just out of the blue. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that cunt was a cop. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a nice young man looking for the wisdom of the old. Uh, that cunt was a cop. It's the war on terror. He was part of the war on terror. And that's why his eyes changed when I spoke about that. Of course, he could never really be sure of these things. You can't really tell. There's no way of knowing. Who can you trust? Can you trust anyone ever? There seems to be so much being spent on this war on terror. So much about how we need to have more secret police. How much we need more phone tapping. All the news of its threats to the fabric of a society. How the whole world has been taken over. It makes me wonder just because I keep questioning it. I can't help it. It's just the way I am. I like to be free and honest. I hate language that isn't free and honest. That's just the truth of it. I can't put it any other way. And I keep opening my mouth and saying it. What else is there to do when you're growing old? You can't go to your grave without having said what you think. I suppose they just have to keep files on people like me. If I was one of them, I imagine I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read a few of uh, the, the Glasgow poems I wrote between 69 and 79. I just, I just wrote them again because I was angry because you kept seeing these cuddly versions of what people were supposed to be talking. Christ we exist, you know. Um, a summer's day. Your eyes are, uh, I mean, you're, put it this way, I, I think you're beautiful, like, um, fact, fact, I think you're, I love you, that's, that's just the way it is, like, that's um, all there is to say. <laughs> More of philosophy. What do you, you mean, what do you mean? <laughs> listen, don't listen to me talking to you. Right, hold on, where was I? No, aye, what's his name? Come with it, you know you're on. Here, here you. You're not even listening. Name of God, I don't know. Sometimes do things with fonts like this sort of thing. I'm Oxford Dictionary of I'm English language. <laughs> <coughs> and this is a, the poem, the, the one that went to GCSE. My, my standard joke when I read it is because every year for 10 years I was getting a few bob from the printer and these educational things, you know. And I'd say, Sonia, Christ, if I knew I'd make so much money out of that one, I'd have. I don't know one about the one I told you is This is the six o'clock news, the man said. The reason I talk with a BBC accent is because you wouldn't want me to talk about the truth with a voice like one of you scruff. If I talked about the truth like one of you scruff, you wouldn't think it was true. Just one of you scruff talking. There's a right way to spell and a right way to talk it. This is me talking, your right way of spelling. This is my truth. You just don't know the truth yourselves, because you can't talk right. This is a six o'clock news. Well up. Uh. 
after he'd given us a spiel about what was right and what was wrong, but this and that and the next thing, I says to the block, and what is it you call your job, Jimmy? I'm a liaison coordinator. He says, oh good. <laughs> I says, a liaison coordinator. Just what this area needs. <laughs> <laughs> We all the unemployment and all the baby and the boys running amok and the house is forty bits and the woman in tranquilizers. At last they've sent us a liaison <laughs> Somebody with a degree in fuck knows what. Getting paid for no knowing what the fuck to do with <laughs> I keep trying to avoid it, that's the difficult sorry. You sort of keep trying to avoid it, that's the difficult bit of it. Just no keep finding yourself sitting watching the telly or looking out the window. That way you say, Christ I could go our own leg or what's the time fuck me with me cook more than we need potatoes. Um, <coughs> being a human being, or more than I even in it. Not to be complicit. Not to accept everyone else is silent and must be all right. Not to keep one's mouth shut to hold on to one's job. <coughs> Not to accept public language as cover and decoy. Not to put friends and family before the rest of the world. Not to say I am wrong when you know the government is wrong. Not to be just a bot behaviour pattern. To accept the moment and fact of choice. I am a human being and I exist. A human being and a citizen of the world. Responsible to that world and responsible for that world. Um, I'll just end with a piece of it. And I ended this book with three types of envoy I call them. So I'll read the last two. A humanist. And a very sort of statement, I know. Formally. I don't know. The son of an immigrant, a humanist. The son of an immigrant. He had eschewed the culture of his father as also that of the land into which he was born. The religion of his father was once the religion of the indigenous natives, but they had rejected and overthrown it. And the son was yet seen as of that tribe which corroded the native culture and language. An outsider, he felt at home with the art and culture of other outsiders. For many years he found companionship across space and time. But from within he came to realize himself as instance of the universal human. The universal human is inclusive and absolute. There is no individual outside it. This sense of the universal human is a home of all those who have won through to become themselves. And much trouble in the world is caused by those who remain self-sequestered in their perceived province of the exclusive. Finally, a life. There were some who seemed to spend their lives being a writer, <laughs> and he had spent his life not being a writer. That way lay safety and invisibility, a freedom. Those he met saw him as that writer, and would never understand that this was not how he had shown him to see himself. He accepted their seeing him as that writer, almost with a kind of irony. But then he began to accept that he was a writer. It was a matter of language and consciousness, the link between the two. 
he had to choose to accept the responsibility of the outer that he had preserved from himself, that he had left to the perception of others. For as he grew older, he stood in a separate relationship to himself. He was able to body himself conceptually as a totality. And though he had never been a storyteller, he saw that he had been telling a story all his life. It became important to him that somebody heard the story now that he realised he had been telling it. Yet all that remained to be told was that he had been telling it. And all that remained was the need for the last understanding, the sign that someone had heard the story and the teller was no longer necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.